guys so I'm going to be reviewing all these rare figures that I got for really cheap. I got that Chris Jericho for $3, I got that Neville at Walmart today for $11, and they also had a Fan Central for $17. Couldn't pick them up, I didn't have money on me, That I only had $11. And over here we have some other rare figures that I got for really cheap. Basically got these for like $3 each. Um, so right here we have this Brock Lesnar, not sure if this is rare, but it says Eat Sweet Break the Street. This from WrestleMania 31 when he beat the Undertaker and broke the streak stones with his shirt and his beanie. Finally have Elite Brock Lesnar to use in my figure matches, which I got this Hokamania um Hulk Hogan figure established in 1984. Has his blonde hair, his bandana, and I will be using this in action figure matches with my sister. I was planning on making a show on SmackDown. We got the CM Punk microphone, and it says best in the world, let it focus, let it focus, 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 Well, it says best in the world, CM Punk, that's a red star right there, right there with the hand, with the light folk, and this, and with this amazing figure that's like $40 worth. They didn't come with the signs, which that's okay, I don't really care, just wanted the figure. And right here, we it has all that tattoo design, his sideburns, red, white, and black, which is my favorite color combination. Really cool figure, got it really cheap. And then, right here we have this Elite 3 Shawn Michaels. It doesn't have a hat or the shirt, but that's okay. Don't really care, just this latest figure, which is awesome. I never thought I'd have this figure, it has all these cool designs on it. Not sure from which match it is. Uh, I'm not I'm trying to think which match, but I'm not sure. This is this John Cena. I'm not sure if this is um, rare either, but it's in his 10 years anniversary, I think, in navy blue. Really cool figure. And right here we have this Rey Mysterio in yellow and black, which is awesome. Not, I don't think this is rare, but I just saw it and I wanted to play the video. I got a bunch of other figures that I got, but they're all basic zombies and stuff. Right here we have 619 in Raw, and I think this is awesome. He's happy like, yeah, I'm in Raw. Look at his face, he's so happy because he's on Raw. And it won't focus. There we go. All his tattoos, his whole skeleton thing. Right here we have this logo right here. It's the cross. Right there, grab the other Rey Mysterio back here. And this one is almost complete, just missing a little tag, but that's not a big deal. And this shirt is amazing. It has his logo of his face on there. Booyaka 619. Booyaka. And then this mask that's removable. And I love the contrast of the blue, red, and white off the black. It looks amazing. One of his best figures in my opinion. It says Booyaka right there. And over there we got the Chris Jericho. Still complete. Mint on card. Still works in everything. Let's move everything behind it. Let's focus. Right there it says entrance grades. And it still works, which is crazy. Comes with that microphone. Comes with that entrance jacket right there in silver. And it says Raw is Jericho right there. It comes in black pants also, as you can see. And this is the back, which is amazing. A little description. There's Rowdy Rye. Ah. Rowdy Roddy Piper, I always get tongue twisted with saying that. And there's a description if you want to pause the video and read. Fake autograph right there. Wish it was real. Would have been even cooler. But now let's get this Neville reviewed. Before I review the Neville, there's a WLC table of breaks. And I think I tore open the tape to open it quicker because I'm trying to... Ah, I have like limited amount of space on my phone right now. So the figure came with the Art Schamberger or some, some something like that art piece. It comes with this um, thing that you put on the Elite Scale Ring. And it comes with the Cruiserweight Championship. I think this is my third one. And here's a figure in gold in his WrestleMania attire. I think that's this figure is awesome. The back does not have anything on it, I believe. I'm trying to see from the camera. Then the knee pads. And right there, he has his logo, and the face is amazing. But anyways, thank you for watching my video, and I hope y'all enjoyed all these rare figures. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all guys on the next one. Thanks for watching again, like for a third time. Well, thank you.